brother. Brother Gene is not a preacher because he has a title of preacher. He is a preacher because God has made him to be a preacher. Sometimes I want to say, let me see those notes. He's got it written on his heart what he's preaching to us. He is a lover of the word of God, and you can tell by the way he preaches. There's nothing dull about Brother Gene when it comes to the word of God. When it comes to God's people, there's nothing dull. You know what? This is the way God, people in the world, they look at God's people as dull. It's because they don't know God. There's nothing dull about God. What's dull is people are dull to God. They don't know God. When you know God, you love him. You love his word. And great men have done great things because they're close to God. That's why they did great things. Look around you. See how many great things are going on today. Not a whole lot of great. Great things went on a long time ago when people were close to God. And now we're just kind of using those things and coming up with dumb ideas today. Brother Gene, as he was speaking, I was thinking about great men of God. Abraham being one of them. And what did Abraham do? He obeyed. And he went out not knowing whether he went. He didn't even know where he was going, but he obeyed God. That's what made him a great man of God. Because he lived close to God. You want to be strong? You want to be an overcomer? You want to make it successfully from where you're sitting now all the way to glory? Obey and get close to God. Brother Gene said over and over again, yield, yield, yield. This is a secret. Yielding yourself to God. Pushing away the world and growing close to the Lord. You will not be disappointed. God will not disappoint you. If you spend yourself for him, you give yourself. Brother Gary, have you ever been disappointed by spending yourself too much for God? You will not be disappointed. Not one person that ever did great things for God was disappointed because he spent too much time for the Lord. Brother, Brother Gene mentioned Philippi. I, so I thought of this uh, in uh, First Philippians uh, 1, 14. It says, and many of the brethren in the Lord waxing confident by my bonds. Who's ever been confident because somebody was in bonds? I see that my brother is in prison. Now I have confidence because he's bound and can't do well, I mean, by the world standard, can't do anything. He did great things because why? He was close to the Lord. See, when you're close to the Lord, at your, we at your weakest point, he does great things through you. Waxing confident by my bonds are much more bold to speak the word without fear. What gives you boldness? What gives you strength? What gives you the ability to go out? Are you a, a kind of a timid person? You get close to the Lord and all of a sudden you find yourself doing things that you thought you would never do before. Are you the type of person that can't speak as I was growing up? I was very, I was not a person that could speak in front of people. Now I find myself with confidence being able to speak with boldness. Why? Not because I'm bold and confident in my own ability. I'll be the first one to tell you. I have no confidence in my own ability. My confidence and my ability and my boldness comes from the Lord. It comes from the longer I've been close to the Lord, the more confident I am. I'm confident in God. God, you put your faith and your strength, all your strength and everything you have into the Lord. And he will not let you down. He, you will be an over, overcomer. Just as Brother Gene continued to um, speak to us about this yielding. Yielding. The, uh, well, here's another thing. You know, sin is a taker. God is a giver. 
those who give themselves to sin are just, they just get taken, this drain. Why God, as you give yourself to him, he pours into you. And it makes you able to do great things. You know, from the time of Adam and Eve until now, sin has never done anything but take. God gives a testimony so that when the people of God can look and see, look back, like Brother Gene was preaching, he could look back and see what God has said, and he's come through with what he said. So as you, as we give ourselves to the Lord, here, here's my exhortation to you. Give yourself to the Lord, and you will not be let down. Because in the end, God is victorious, and all those who are with him are going to be victorious. God is a provider to his people. God has brought us to himself. This is a, a work that he has done. See, we could do nothing. What did we do before we were born when Jesus died for us? We weren't even born, and he yet died for us. We were enemies of God when he died for us. See, he's bringing us bringing us to himself. Brother Gene brought that out. So we are to yield ourselves to God and he will work in us those things that we cannot do of our own self. He will do this work. So we, we want to see what God is doing. We want to see that God can make us bold and that as we continue with him, as we strive with him, he will not let us down. So, brother, I open us up to you now. I'm sure we have some comments.